Welcome to the rapid fire lessons of an indie dev series where I quickly explain learning outcomes as a result of my countable years of Unity development experience. If you want an in-depth explanation of the concepts explored in this video, check out my blogs in the video description or you can get the package by spending just $1 on Patreon. Thanks and strap in. So you've been following tutorials, making small games, and have gained enough confidence to start developing something larger. Unfortunately, a couple of weeks in, you find that your health, weapon, score, and every other class look something like this, and you look something like this, trying to wrap your head around why the player death sound effect is constantly being called after death. Been there. But what if I told you we can achieve the same thing better and easier? I introduce Modular Code. Modular code architecture enables code to be split into many independent packages that are easily developed. Here's the process. Step one, make a text spec. This is where the uni students click away, but trust, it's not just a checkbox you tick to pass the module. Step two, break down the core of each feature, separating functionality from feedback. Step three, execute the plan. And step four, easily scale the project. Step one, the tech spec doesn't have to look like this incoherent document of, oh my God, where's my hair gone? It can look something like this, or this, or even this. In fact, it should be all three. Let's focus on the health example. Simply write a list of all the things the health component does, function and feedback. Step two, identify the core function of the component. Health is simply a number that represents the progress to the fail state. Shout out to Zach Valley and the Game Dev Field Guide community. Simple, health is a float. Then separate everything into function and feedback categories, breaking the list down into reusable individual controllers that can be used by all classes. And I stress, not just health. And optionally, you can make it easier to read. Up to you. Step three, this is the part where we execute our bad habits and welcome modularity with a hug. Before I rapidly flick the answer sheets in your face for about a second each, I'll explain the MVP of this design method, Unity Events, and I've said. Again, if you want a detailed breakdown, check out the blog. Right, so we have our health class, audio controller, animation controller, slider controller, camera shake controller, and game event controller. All individual code that uses Unity events so we can super easily set up game logic without creating a dumpster fire of spaghetti code. Oh, and it can be used by anything. Great, let's put together the player prefab using this code base design. Done. Step four, you gotta pump it up. Great, hopefully you can see just how much better this is compared to this. Oh, but Callum, you say, I decided that I wanted to add shields to my enemies. Well, you should have planned that out before getting here. Nah, I'm pulling your leg. Changes in game dev happen frequently and you've got to adapt at a moment's notice. Nonetheless, it's important to highlight all features and plan ahead. Also, this gives us a chance to improve our modularity further and highlight how it's one of the best design architectures. Let's refactor the class into a normal C-sharp serializable class called stat. Now let's add a health controller mono behavior that uses the stat class as a variable. Now add logic for processing damage, shields first, health last, and ensure that the stats that need it are being ticked in the update function. Now, of course, you can use this as a base class and add more stats per inheritance, or you can use a list to identify each stat with an integer to dynamically add stats. Either way, you will have a lot less null reference errors, more control, and less hair loss. Just in case you didn't catch the power of this method, let's remake a simplified fallout limb damage system. First, add each limb. Second, quickly put together a test movement class without any planning because this is just an example. Third, on leg stat change, update player movement speed, UI, etc. This system could also be used for anything. Maybe you have a poison resistance stat where the higher the percent, the less damage taken by poison. The same for magic, radiation, whatever you want to add because we are gods of our own creations that reign supreme.